what is up everybody this is all things apple plus here wanted to give you guys just a kind of a uh a, kind of a quirky video i haven't done a video like this in a while since my uh the gamecube uh video that i've done uh, a long time ago but this is a new application that's coming out if you've never heard of this uh play is a playstation 2 emulator for your ios devices and this also is out for uh, Android and for PC, but for um, at least for the I for your iOS devices, uh, I believe that this is a uh, not so much of a working emulator, but it, it, it I mean it works, but it's just very slow and it's very laggy. So I'm actually in the midst of downloading it. I'm gonna show you kind of my steps and. Uh, if you guys want to follow along, you guys are more than welcome to. Uh, this is just kind of for your guys' information on what's coming out and what to look for down the road. Um, this is just, this is kind of, it blew my mind to, to know that the emulator was actually out and that people could download it. But I'm actually in the midst of trying to get this thing to work. So I'm just going to show you everything that I've been doing in the midst of all of it. So, first things first, you are going to need to have a jailbroken device. I do not believe this actually will work on any other devices that are on jailbroken. So make sure your guys' device is jailbroken. If you haven't figured how to do that, I'll leave an annotation up on the screen too. Go into Cydia, and there's a custom source that you are going to download. Under sources here, it is this one right here. It's Cydia.purei.org. Go ahead and whoops. Go ahead and download that source. And from there, under actually, while this is loading, I'm gonna let my city load for a bit. Let me actually click out of it. I got so much stuff loading up right here. I need to clear all that out. So let me load up city one more time. I'm gonna keep this very raw. I'm not even gonna edit this video. I'm just gonna keep it very. Uh, very raw and unedited. So again, sources, Cydia, and then you should see under here games, and you should see the play uh, emulator. So go ahead and download that, and once you do, you'll have the actual emulator right here. Now there really isn't, actually, wow, that was pretty fast actually. Well, let me go ahead and show you how I even got to that point to even getting Final Fantasy X. Before, when I was loading up my games, nothing would show up on my screen at all. Um, I'm actually curious to see how the game runs, but I do need to I need to show you guys how things run first. Um, again, anyways, so this is how I ended up downloading the the actual emulator or the ROMs. So there is an application in the App Store called uh, Files or uh, let me see here. Under search, I usually type in just downloads. Let me see. Here we go. There's all these web browser type uh, applications that you can download, but one that's always worked for me that I never stop using is this one right here browser and file manager by ls apps if you ever get a chance to download it download it um and what you can do is you can actually save uh files to your uh, to your device and it shows in a actual download bar how much you know or you know how the whole process is going in the speed and everything and instead of like how to explain this so instead of in safari what would happen is if you were to try to download this uh rar file which is about three gigs uh it says otherwise at the moment but it's not it's about three gigs uh, it takes about a, it takes a, a good long time and if you're just sitting there under safari trying to you know wonder how much you know percentage your debt your app is or your rom is downloaded it kind of gets a little frustrating and you for me I'm just the type of person that wants to know the status of my ROM so when I download them so I went to let me see here I'll show you even just my history Oops. if it's saved oops There we go. So, 
when you type in for me I wanted to try out Final Fantasy 10 go to ROM Hustler they're the one site that for me I don't like anything in 7z or in a sort of zip form so if you go to ROM Hustler you'll be greeted or when you try to download your ROM you'll be greeted with a lot of advertisements but right below it is the little if I can tap on it you kind of have to tap your way out of it and eventually there it goes you'll navigate your way back into the actual ROM you can go to single archive download from right here It'll say that it's downloading, but you just have to scroll down to the very bottom, right, or into the middle of the page. Wait out the timer. And when it does, you can go ahead and click here to go ahead and start your download. Download your ROM or the uh, RAR file, and it'll start downloading immediately. And depending on your Wi-Fi speeds, it'll go pretty quick. It's not that, it's not that, uh, not that slow, excuse me. So you have your RAR file loading. I'm gonna actually go ahead and exit that. I don't really don't need another copy of Final Fantasy X on my on my device. But as you can see, you can see the actual like the speed, how fast it's going. I actually I wish Safari was more like that, but unfortunately it's not. So once you get your RAR file, I was trying to figure out how to get it into my Play app, but unfortunately it wouldn't show up in the actual emulator so it was just completely blank with this blue screen so I thought how am I gonna get this file from my downloads app into play and so I thought going through iFile if you ever get a chance to download iFile it's uh, pretty much you're able to browse through your entire phone and all throughout all the data throughout all the files and anything that's inside your phone you can browse through there through iFiles so it's a great application to have I tried uploading that file to iFile and you and I also tried doing it through Dropbox but unfortunately it wouldn't work through either or so and I'm actually having some troubles with my iFile so let me I think just because the app takes up so much or the ROM takes up so much memory, it may just be slowing down my phone, I'm not sure. Looks like even that's been, let me do this. I might just need a respring. Or at least, shut off, there we go. Let me respring real quick. Oops, came in type of my password. Let's try that again. Okay. So I tried uploading this file into iFile, which I was successfully able to do, and I was able to unzip it through there. If you've never tried out iFile, you can go ahead and you'll notice once your download is completed, it will actually show up in iFile. I can actually get rid of the RAR version, but when you when you do have your RAR version, you just tap on the I right here. Whoops. Or actually, not even that. You just actually just tap on the actual RAR file and hit Unarchiver, and it will. too as well it will go ahead and uh, unpackage everything that way you have the ISO file so let me get rid of the uh, you know I'm gonna get the raw file just in case after doing all of that I'm thinking okay so here it is now I just need to find the play application through iFile this is gonna take forever and a day so how do I do that so instead of going through iFile I thought you know what better yet how about I go through iTunes and go th and load up the app that way so instead of re-downloading the application all over or downloading the ROM all over again I went straight and I if you ever downloaded I explore it is a way that you can also view the many files that are within your iDevice let me go ahead and focus that so 
look up uh, I Explorer and you can download it for free. It's a completely free download, and especially if you're uh, jailbroken, it's worth having. So instead of having to download the uh, the actual RAR or the ISO file again through my uh, my laptop here, I thought you know what? I'm just going to transfer everything over to my laptop and just you can drag and drop the file out, and then from here I'm going to upload it from iTunes. Here's the actual play emulator. Let me actually minimize that. Let me see if I can drag this guy down a little bit. There we go. Pull that up a little bit. There we go. We can drag and drop this file into here under documents but before I'm gonna even do that I'm actually gonna test out the the emulator because it's not even showing it's showing that the uh, the ISO file is within the emulator right so I'm gonna try this out and again I'm sorry for the glare I'm gonna try to see if I can angle this up the right way Wow. I'm not expecting this to work really fast at all. But the fact that it's loading the menu. Oh my god. Yep, there's the lag there. Oh yeah, now the lag hits. Again, I'm so sorry for the uh, the glare in the screen here. Let me see if I can. Woo! That is some lag. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna try to get through this game like this there's no way but that's that's amazing though and whoever whoever plays through this entire game via this emulator at this point you're insane but that is so awesome I wonder if I can even Yep, I can pause. I wonder... See, it works fine when you pause it, and you shouldn't even hear any sound, especially through the game. All buttons are responsive. That's awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna try to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it play in the background and see how far it gets while I while I finish up the rest of this video. So that's the uh, your PlayStation 2 emulator. Actually, that was a better way to angle the phone. I should have done it this way. But I wanted to show you guys just kind of like my process of how I went about this whole thing. Uh, I'm just completely floored and amazed. This is actually this is running on iPhone 6s Plus. Um, if you're running anything below that, I really doubt you're going to be getting any sort of good speeds. This is about as f I'm sure this is about as fast as it, you know the iOS, iOS version can go. Um, I'm just I'm really psyched to see how far this application goes uh, to the creator and to the developer who's making this application. My I tip my hat to you. This is just amazing. I cannot wait to be able to play like Kingdom Hearts on this or even. Uh, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to be going through Final Fantasy X on my phone later on. That's going to be awesome to know that. And I'm sure within the next couple of months and the years that go by, we're going to be able to be, be able to play these games off of our phones. No problem. That's just awesome. But I hope you guys did like my little... It's not even... I wouldn't even call it a tutorial. It's just... It was a fluke that it, the game just so happened to load up 
on my on this play app I didn't even think it was supposed to load that way but it somehow it, it worked and it did but uh, again if you if you like this video go ahead and share it around you know this is just an amazing uh, feat that these devices they can do I mean just to be able to play this emulator on your phone is just or play this game on your phone is just awesome but share this video around like it up uh, definitely share this with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe to all things Apple plus I'll, I will keep you guys up to date on this application I'll let you guys know how everything's running from time to time I'm not gonna be doing so many tutorials on this on this uh, application until it starts running um, or at least until some games start running a little bit better but I'm gonna check out to see what games are available and what games can run um, close to a good speed and I'll uh, I'll see if I can make some sort of a list for you guys under the description but again I hope you guys like this video uh, go ahead and check out the rest of my videos if you haven't done so and if you guys like what we're doing here you're more than welcome to support uh, by leaving a like comment you know you know even subscribing also helps and just sharing the videos around it does help out a lot so and it it, it does mean a lot to uh, to me just being able to make these videos for you guys so I hope you guys have a good rest of your guys' night this is all things Apple plus signing off and uh, again hope you guys have a good one peace